excellent opportunity for Fakhar really to get some runs under his belt. So here's the first ball of the second ODI. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Hitting it on the up tells you how good this pitch is. And that's a boundary. Yeah, big shot. Gone all the way. That's his strength. And behind square leg, but he flicked it, picked his gap. Take another look. Going with the angle, working it off his off stump. Strong wrist. Makes room, it's a half hit. And a four for Fakhar. Well, this time, gets it through and it'll be four. Huge appeal. Thorn is very interested. The ball has spun back sharply. And he's gone for it. Ball trucker coming up now, Michael. Ball pitching outside off. Impact is in line. And wickets hitting. Michael, you'll have to reverse your decision. I'll tell you when you're on screen. You're on screen now, Michael. Reverse your decision to out. Beautifully bold. And it's the settled Imam who's been dismissed, went back. 73 for the loss of one, Imam goes after scoring 31. Fresh at the crease is Babar Azam. Yeah, hits it extremely well, front foot pull shot and a boundary. Shot ball, that's gone for six. Smashed. Beats the infield for four. Yeah, yeah. 50 for Fakhar. Yeah, a lot of relief for him, definitely. Struggling for runs, struggling for form. First game in the series for him, and he's got a 50. Slice and taken at mid-off. That's a very good catch. It's the googly again, just going away from Fakhar. Fakhar trying to hit this over long off. Mid-off in the circle. He wanted that boundary option, a good catch. But the leg spinner again, providing the big two, this time with the googly. Fakhar out for 54, 104 for two. Driven straight, what a shot that is. Magnificent shot. Pitched up and straight past the bowler. Timing was magnificent, so was the placement. Handsome, really good looking shot and it's four. And it's a half century for Babar Azam, and it's come from 55 balls. Stylish half century for Babar Azam. It's gone big. Oh, what a handsome shot. It's six. And Babar Azam hits that away. Will it go all the way? You bet it will. Timing is spot on today, Babar Azam. Chance at the non-strikers and he's gone. He's got to go, yeah, I think. He's out. Massive miscommunication between the two and it's the left-hander who suffered. Look at the confusion here. He's passed the no-return point for sure. And the wicket keeper had the presence of mind to just lobby to the non-striker's end, but Sri Lanka needs wickets. And the wicket number three is gone. 
it's Harry Sohel run out for 40 it's 215 for three found the gap, will find the fence, and that is 100 for Babar Azam, he'll raise his bat. What a knock, what a player. 11th ODI ton for him. Third in last five innings versus Sri Lanka. Well, I can tell you that his celebration is very similar to the way he bats. Took his time even with his celebration. There was no excitement, didn't run around and throw his bat and keep jumping up and down. But he just took his time, took the helmet out and just celebrated so much like the way he batted. But very well played indeed, outstanding 100. Yeah, he's a sweet timer of the ball. Most 100s in first 73 ODIs. At par with Hashem Amla, 11, Quinton de Kock, 11 and now Barbar Azam. 11 in 73 ODIs. That's hell of a record. Chance at the non-strikers, and I think he's gone. Yeah. Done and dusted is Pakistan's skipper. Elairu Tirimana at short extra cover, hits the bullseye. Desperate times for Pakistan, looking for runs here, and he was nowhere close. And needed a direct hit, there wasn't anybody close to that stump, so... Safras goes run out. And uh, it is 242 for four. Oh, he's picked this up nicely. Goodness me, that's a good hit. Barbara Azam with a flick of the wrists. A Yorker, that was the idea. He waited for it and then just good wrist work there towards mid on and mid wicket. Look at this, picked up his gap as well. Big shot. It's gone straight up in the air. Who wants it? Man underneath it and takes a good catch that's Hataranga takes the catch he was looking towards uh, to play towards mid wicket got the top edge he was struggling I think he was a bit tired he was getting cramps as well good catch in the end he departs from 115 Pakistan 261 for five now oh has he caught all of this has he got all of this? Yes, he has. Slow ball. Oh, that's gone up. It's gone up. Has he got the legs? It has. And that six brings up the 300. It's another big blow from Iftikhar. Yorker. And somehow dug out for a couple. It should just be two, but they're going to try for his third. It's going to be a run out. So Wahab runs himself out. And Pakistan finish with 305 on the board. And uh, some important runs there from Iftikhar at the end. Wahab was miles out. He's run out by uh, a day and a half. So there you go. Pakistan finishing 305 for seven from their 50 overs with Iftikhar 32 from 20 balls not out at the end and those were important runs that would have hurt Karamane and his young Sri Lankans but they've done well to stick to their task 306 off 50 overs their run rate will start at 6.12 Here we go. Oh, off to a smooth, silky start. That is such a good way to begin the innings and put pressure on Mohamed Amir and Co. Uh, beautifully played. Used the angle really nicely. That'll do very nicely for Shinmari and Pakistan. Just going across, maybe just nip back in inside edge onto the leg stump. Was angle across and pitch maybe straightened back into the right hander. Terrific delivery. 
Samara Vikrama castled for six. It's 18 for one after four. Out, gone, undone by a slow ball. Brainy stuff from Mohamed Amir. Gunatilaka thought that it's a normal delivery, just drive through the line. Never arrived. Never picked it, never arrived. Imad accepts. Amir outdoes him with a great bit of skill. Gunatilaka out for 14, it's 22 for two. Catch it is the call, and catch it it is. Shinwari strikes again, and unfortunately for Sri Lanka, the little gem, Avisco Fernando, is on the way back. Again, a simple chip to the man at mid-off. Farkas Raman, the fielder. And Sri Lanka lose their third wicket. Fernando goes without scoring. It's 22 for three. Oh, has he got an inside edge? Has he got it? They're all gone up. Nigel Goff, Michael Goff, the umpire, is saying he wants to know whether the ball carried for the catch. Yeah, I think that's the question. There was a definite edge, no doubt. The question is, did it carry? Well, that's what they're discussing. And they're going to refer it uh, to the third umpire. Let's see what the soft signal is. I think the soft signal is out. Yeah, that's what he says. So the question now is to find out whether it carried or not. The ball is a long way from his body. That's out. That is completely out. Gone into the gloves. Safraz takes a good catch. And Lahiru Termane is already walking back. Well, Termane is three quarters of the way back. And he'll look back over his shoulder and see the out. The Sri Lankan captain's on the way back, and Shinwari's got his third wicket. The Sri Lankan captain has gone for naught, and Sri Lanka all over the place, 22 for four. Oh, that's close, very close, finger goes up. Imad Wasim has struck. Well, he's reviewed it. Unless there's an inside edge, I can't see also the Fernando being saved of this, but let's see. Coming up now shows our ball pitching outside off, impact is in line and wickets hitting. So you'll be staying with your original decision. Can you put Shozab on screen please? You're on screen now, stay with your original decision of out. So also the Fernando goes. He hasn't really bothered the scorers too much. Just one Sri Lanka now, half of the side gone for 28. Nicely played. Might get a couple here. In fact, you'll get four. Nicely played. Bajar Surya. Oh, he's gone aerial. That's a fine shot for six. Effortless. It's a fantastic piece of timing. Beautifully balanced. Well, that's been hit very hard. And it's going to go for four. And he's gone straight over the bowler's head for a really fine hit for six. Fraction short, what a good shot that is for six. Shinwari just a little short and that's been toinked over mid-wicket, very straight. He had so much time that he actually hit it to a very straight mid-wicket over the fence. Runs behind point, that's the 100 partnership, might be Jayasuriya's 50 as well, I think it is the boundary. The third umpire would want to take a look because Imad Wasim, I got the feeling, was over the line as he touched the ball. Yes, that's his 50. Very well played indeed. Another look. This is Nawaz again. Yeah, he's touching it. 
well i think he's got rid of the ball looks good looks really good effort by he's a very good fielder nawaz let's have a look it's a better angle better picture he's good here it's, it's i think he's okay and that's his 50 short and wide that's when Sharnaka reaches his 50 what a fine innings it's been a fighting knock big shot fantastic hit he's not getting the ball to turn a lot so in his arc and helped himself with that massive straight drive Oh, easily done. He's put it into the gap for a four. This is excellent piece of batting. Edge and taken. I think he's out. Caught behind. Shinvari does it again. Shinvari strikes again. He's trying to run this down to third man. Just a little edge. Carries through to Sarfraz. Shinvari has his fourth important wicket. But... End of an outstanding innings from Shahan Jayasuriya, 96 of 109. It's 205 for six. Hello, go. Up in the air, takes it, sprawling on the floor. At the bottom of the bat, ball didn't bounce that much. Thus, the power wasn't lacking in the shot. Fakhar Zaman diving forward. Expect him to take those. Did it comfortably. Another one of Sri Lanka's heroes today. Shanaka departs out for 68, 205 for 7. Slower ball, he's got the edge. Yes, he's gone. That's his fifth wicket. He's taken five wickets again against Buck, against Sri Lanka. And Usman Shinwari, this has been a wholehearted effort from the left-arm pace bowler. Slow ball, very well disguised, got the edge, easy catch by the skipper behind the stumps. And Sri Lanka loses his eighth wicket and fifth in the game for Usman Shinwari. That's his second five-wicket haul in ODIs. What a performance. Udana departs for one, Sri Lanka, 211 for eight. That's a good looking shot. That's a very good shot from Hasaranga for six. Unbelievable. It's gone after him again. This time the bottom hand comes into it and it's six more. Ooh, has that got him? Yes, it has. He went nowhere. He's got his wicket finally, Wahab Riaz, short of a land delivery. He had no idea. He was uh, hoping for the short delivery, but uh, clever bowling by experience, Wahab Riaz. Kumara, the pass for one, Sri Lanka, 2-3-2 two, two for nine. sure how well he's caught this no he hasn't but the field has caught it and that is a wicket Iftikhar taking the catch and Shadab gets a little bit of balm for the punishment he's been taking and that's the end of it Sri Lanka 238 all out Pakistan have won this second one day international here in Karachi Pakistan, who won the toss, 305 for 7, Babarazam, 150.